Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have some sick stuff, thanks to James at Transylvanian Recordings. And that is the very sinister shroud of Vulture with the sludgy opus that is upon a throne of jackals. Seven tracks of crushing sludgy doomy black and death awesomeness it's an it's a good hodgepodge of just sick sick extreme metal but mostly sludge and sludge with some gnarly vocals like the vocals are very just like yeah like I, I i love them like one of my favorite things about shroud of vulture are the vocals they're just gnarly and i'm not using that word for lack of a better word the word i choose to pick and this logo is great And then we get some death metal. Like, it's all over the map, but at the end of the day, it's very, very sludgy. But I love, like, the first track, like, having traces more of, like, black metal. And then going into a more just sludge-driven death metal attack. I think it's cool as shit. And then going back into those vocals and having it end up sound a lot like uh, Wake from, uh, or uh, it's R-W-A-K-E. They were, they were on Relapse Records. They have an amazing album called Voice of Omens. This kind of reminded me of like a less like Southern fried wake or rake i don't even know how people say their name i always just said wake and thought like the r was kind of silent but shroud of vulture like this is something that if i heard in like 2010 this would not have like left my hearing for like probably two months maybe more like i've honestly been putting off going over this because i didn't know what to really say besides like fuck yeah this rules like this is extreme metal for fans of extreme metal and that's what most of transylvania recording stuff is but sometimes it's just straight up death metal sometimes it's straight up black metal other times you get a mix match of like sludge Death, black metal, doom, and just... Like a fucking hardcore part almost. heavy as hell it has like i said all sorts of different elements from the extreme metal circle but you know at the end of the day i would consider this just some sludgy killer death metal that at times goes into kind of just straight up sludge territory especially with the more black metal vocals when they go down that route it just works so well and again james has a great ear but this really reminded me of the last swamp which released but 
with a little bit more death metal to it, and I just really, really liked it. Now, why it took me so long to go over this, I really didn't know how to properly give it justice, because this is something I really think you need to listen to on your own. Because Shroud of Vulture, like, as much as I feel this is probably something the majority of you would like, I know you might be, oh, fucking sludge, that shit's boring. Nope, it's not like you think at all, trust me. The sludge, like, it's played at a higher tempo than your usual sludge band, and, like, it just kind of has that vibe. That's what I mean, it reminds me a lot of, like, a more death metal, like, wait, Voice of Omens, especially. Like, just that, like, with, like, less electronics and whatnot. But, like, it just kind of has that vibe to it. And I really, really like it. And, yeah. Thank you to Transylvania Recordings. And hails the Shroud of Vulture for Upon the Throne, Upon a Throne of Jackals. Great title. Great cover artwork, and their logo is just awesome. Hell yeah. And its trails would leave the entrails of the priests for lack of a cord to strangle kings. Great quote. Great artwork. Great music. Hails to Transylvanian recordings for once more knocking it out of the park with shroud of vulture upon a throne of jackals get into it and as always thanks for watching you fucking rule hails mm.